happy Thursday. Today is May 7th, 2020. And today is the last day of our week. You have tomorrow off again. You have every Friday off. But remember, don't forget to take your spelling test. You know, if it's a beautiful day and you want to take your spelling test outside with chalk on the driveway, your mom can take a picture of that. I'm okay with that. Anything you want. Uh, make it fun. So today we are starting with our Reader Writers Workshop. And if you turn to the page before this, page 178, we can review our O-U-O-W sound of ow words. The letters O-U and O-W can make the sound you hear in the middle of found and down. Can you see the words here? Read them aloud with me. Loud, brown, frowned, mouse. Why does this word have an ed at the end? It already happened. Good. Now, shouted, cloud, around, ground, growling, pound, towel. Growling. Why does it have an ing on the end? Because it's happening right now. Good. Okay, let's look at the two sentences we have up here. Read the top sentence in your head. Now let's read it together. We found a brown puppy in town. Excellent. How about the second sentence? It does not growl or make loud sounds. Great job. Look for these words with ow and ow in now what's that sound? Now, bouncing, crown, sound, shouted, down, out, wow, sounds, and house. Well, you know where we begin at the top of the page. Genre, realistic fiction. What does it mean when you see realistic fiction? It means this story didn't really happen, but it could have. The events in this story could happen in real life. That's what the realistic in the fiction means. It's made up. It didn't happen. Our essential question for the week, what sounds can you hear? How are they made? Read about two children who hunt for a sound. Now, what's that sound? Hmm. Turn to page 182. Tap, tap, tap. Rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. What's that sound? asked Gilbert. It started early this morning. I thought it might stop, but it hasn't. Let's check out the garage, said Marta. I think Dad is making the sound. Tap, 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 rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Hmm. Zing, zing, zing. Dad was in the garage cutting a board with his saw. Zing, zing, zing. This is not the sound, said Gilbert. This sound is smoother. So he's describing the sound. He's using adjectives to describe the sound. Let's find Gramps, said Marta. He might be making the sound. They quickly ran to the back of the house to find Gramps. Gramps was sweeping the deck with a broom. Swish, swish, swish. No, 
This is not the sound, said Gilbert. This sound is much softer. And he's using an adjective to describe the sound. The other sound was smooth. This one's soft. Turn to page 186. Let's find Anna instead, said Marta. Maybe she's making the sound. They found Anna in the driveway. Anna was bouncing a ball. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. No, this is not the sound, said Gilbert. This sound is slower. This is hopeless, sighed Marta. Bam, zing, swish. Tap, 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 rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. There it is again, said Gilbert. He looked up at the tallest tree. Suddenly, he shouted, Oh, wow, it's a bird. Look at the color on its head, cried Marta. It's red, like a red crown. The bird scrambled up and down the tree. Tap, 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 rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Tap, 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 rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. It's a woodpecker pecking for bugs, said Gilbert. Yes, said Marta and nothing else sounds like it. Tap, 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 rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. What'd you think of that story? So you're going to reread that story to yourself and then answer this comprehension worksheet. Now, what's that sound? It says directions. Answer each question and be sure to tell on which page number you found your answer. Now, you have to answer these questions in complete sentences. You know how to do that. We've done this. This is just like you would answer the story questions in class. This is in place of that. So when you ask a question, make sure you use part of the question in the answer. Make sure it is complete. Read it back to yourself to make sure you haven't skipped any words. Make sure it, you use proper capitalization and punctuation. You know how to do that now. I have great faith that you will do a phenomenal job answering those five questions. When you're finished, take a picture and send it to me. I will see you later.